Science is one of the driving elements of our society, and it is what has allowed us to come so far in such a relatively short amount of time. However, although we have been able to uncover many of the most enduring secrets of the universe, an almost limitless number certainly remains, despite the amazing discoveries that are made every day. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three exciting new discoveries and what they might mean for how we view and understand the amazing world around us. Frozen tardigrade becomes first quantum entangled animal. Tardigrades are an incredibly unique and hardy species of near-microscopic animals that scientists have been studying for years due to their ability to withstand almost any condition they are placed within. These animals are referred to colloquially as water bears or moss piglets and have a distinctive plump, bug-like body with eight legs that end in small, claw-like digits. Notably, their bodies are composed of only 1,000 cells, which allows them the ability to enter a dehydrated state, known as a tun state, in order to weather otherwise unsurvivable conditions. Because of their ability to survive in even the most extreme circumstances, they have been boiled, subjected to ultraviolet radiation, and even accidentally placed on the moon by scientists seeking to understand how their tun state helps them to survive. But some researchers have taken these tardigrades to capacities never before reached by their species, that is, the coldest temperatures and highest pressures achievable in order to ascertain the potential survivability of the species if a frozen tardigrade were incorporated into two quantum entangled electric circuits before being revived to its standard, unturned state. But what is quantum entanglement? It is a very complex occurrence that is typically only applied to the absolute smallest subatomic particles and describes the phenomenon of one particle becoming intimately bound to another particle in such a way that manipulation of one similarly affects the other, even if the particles are separated by incredibly long distances. This relationship has only been demonstrated between single particles in very specific conditions, but the tardigrade researchers wanted to determine whether or not the multicellular organism could be exposed to these conditions and undergo quantum entanglement. The creatures were frozen to trigger a tun state, which shrunk the tardigrades to a third of their original size. They were then frozen to a temperature hardly warmer than absolute zero and placed within the plates of a quantum bit, which initiated entanglement with a second quantum bit unit. They then conducted a series of tests on the system and found that the frequencies of both quantum bits and the frozen tun state tardigrade changed in tandem with each other, indicating that the three-part system was indeed entangled. They then attempted to revive the tardigrades, with only one out of the initial three surviving and potentially becoming the first quantum entangled organism. The research surrounding this experiment is still in the very early stages, but the team working on ensuring that the tardigrade becomes the first quantum entangled animal believes that the results are highly promising. However, it is important to remember that the research backing this claim has not yet been peer-reviewed and has already received some criticism from the scientific community, as several experts believe that the results will not stand up to further experimentation, finding the conclusions faulty. So, from a scientific perspective, it remains to be seen whether or not the tardigrade can add quantum entanglement to its long list of accomplishments, but it is entirely possible that that day is not far away. Mysterious radio bursts tacked to the arms of distant spiral galaxies. Fast radio bursts are one of the many elements of the infinite and mysterious expanse of space that scientists have spent decades trying to understand. These bursts are rapid and brief radio pulses that are emitted by a mysterious source and release enormous amounts of energy in a few milliseconds. In fact, some astronomers estimate that most fast radio bursts produce as much energy in a single millisecond as the Sun produces in three days. However, one of the reasons that they have remained so mysterious is because they are incredibly hard to track down. Although they emit an enormous amount of energy initially, the bright flares that they produce rapidly fade away and are barely visible by the time that they reach Earth. 
But, luckily for researchers, the Hubble Space Telescope may have just provided information that will allow scientists to begin to solve the mystery of what exactly fast radio bursts are. Recently, the telescope was able to locate the origins of five fast radio bursts, which were revealed to have been generated within the spiral arms of five distant galaxies. This allowed researchers to discard older theories that have proposed fast radio bursts might originate from star explosions or collisions between old neutron stars, which typically occur much further from galaxy arms. They were also able to throw out a third theory suggesting that fast radio bursts originated from dwarf galaxies, as the galactic infrastructure captured by the Hubble Space Telescope was not consistent with this theory. Rather, this location supports a much newer theory that suggests fast radio bursts could be produced by magnetars, an interesting type of neutron star. Magnetars produce an intense magnetic field, which is what could be generating these fast radio bursts that have puzzled scientists for so long. The new Hubble telescope images allowed astronomers to analyze characteristics of the galaxies that were producing the fast radio bursts in order to better understand the properties of the stars that were associated with this strange phenomenon. They combined ultraviolet and near-infrared light in order to gain an understanding of the mass of the galaxies, as well as the respective ages of the stars involved. And although this new information provides more support for the magnetar theory, much more research is still needed to definitively say once and for all how fast radio bursts are generated. However, these new images give us much more contextual information about what is happening at the source of these bursts, as well as the composition of the galaxies that are generating them. Alexandra Mannings, lead author of the study detailing these exciting new findings, said in a statement that the imaging allows us to get a better idea of the overall host galaxy properties, such as its mass and star formation rate, as well as probe what's happening right at the FRB. And, as the technology used to obtain these Hubble Space Telescope images has given rise to many new discoveries about the cosmos around us, astronomers hope that it will only be a matter of time before they can definitively determine what causes fast radio bursts once and for all. The oldest known spiral galaxy was just detected. The oldest known spiral galaxy in the universe was just identified, and it was no thanks to some newfangled technology or fancy new telescope either. Rather, it was rediscovered in an old photo that had been taken by the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, or ALMA. The galaxy, which researchers named BRI 13350417, was formed approximately 12.4 billion years ago and is rendered in surprising detail in the photograph which appears blurry and unremarkable at first glance. However, upon closer inspection, scientists were able to tell quite a lot about the unassuming little galaxy. For starters, it is 15,000 light-years in diameter, which is approximately one-third the size of our own Milky Way. Although this newly discovered galaxy is not technically the oldest galaxy on record, it does stand out as the oldest known spiral galaxy having formed an estimated 1.4 billion years after the Big Bang that sparked the creation of our universe. Comparatively, the oldest known galaxy is GNZ11, which formed about 400 million years after the Big Bang. Although it might seem like a bad thing that the ALMA image of this galaxy is blurry, it actually appears this way because the image was created by capturing radio emissions from carbon ions versus the visible light photographs that we are used to. And although this method allows us to see the galaxy in the first place, as visible light would likely not be able to travel far enough to be captured accurately in an image, it does mean that there is even more to the galaxy that we simply cannot see. This is an exciting possibility, especially considering that, even only looking at what is visible in the image, BRI 1350417 was clearly a huge galaxy for the time period in which it was formed. It is also exceptionally dense, likely containing just as much mass as the Milky Way, even though it is only one-third of the size. Astronomers hypothesize that this density could have come as a result of a collision between two galaxies, which eventually formed this small, dense spiral galaxy fairly early on in the history of the universe. 
Essentially, this galaxy is incredibly exciting for researchers attempting to uncover the complex processes that led from the initial Big Bang to the creation of the universe as we now know it. It seems that this newly discovered spiral galaxy could be a major stepping stone in our knowledge for how galaxies formed in the wake of the Big Bang, as well as the process of galaxy transformation in general over time, which has largely remained a mystery to researchers. Additionally, of the galaxies that can be seen in the universe, spiral galaxies make up over 70%, so having such an early example of a spiral galaxy is extremely exciting to researchers who cannot wait to see what this discovery has in store for our continued knowledge. But what do you make of these new discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.